We're here at Hope Village and standing in front of our beautiful water tower, deep well, and we've, we've got sustainable water source here. We're able to pretty much just keep this whole property green with the water that we have here. And that was a, that was a huge thing for us. But the problem is the water is not pure. The water has some uh, microbes in it, some bacteria and that sort of thing. And it is not safe uh, for the children to drink, certainly not safe for the medical community that's gonna be working in the clinic. We're gonna need to have it sanitized. So we are right now on a drive to raise funds for a water purification system. And we're not just talking about that thing that sits under your counter uh, in the kitchen. We're talking about a big, a big system that's able to purify water of about 9,000 gallons a day. And the reason we need so much is not just because of the village here that is within the, the, the compound of Hope Village here, but also for the community. The surrounding area does not have access to uh, really pure drinking water. Even the water they buy, from what I understand in this community, um, is suspect and people are getting sick from it. And so our dream is from right here in Hope Village with our water source, that we're able to purify enough water that we have excess that we can sell at a very, very cheap rate to these people in our community so they can have clean drinking water. That's right. On March 22nd of this year, it is World Water Day and Hope Village Philippines is going to participate in that. We are going to hand out clean, safe drinking water along with some other um, toys and gifts that we're gonna give the kids here in the local village. Plus, we're going to be bringing awareness on the importance of clean, safe drinking water. That's right. It's it's hard to believe that in a world like this, this modern world, you know, space age and telecommunications and everything that we got going, that I would say half of the world's population really doesn't have access. I think it's two thirds access to a reliable, clean source of water. Um, a statistic we read recently was that one out of 10 people on planet Earth do not have clean drinking water. And that's a, that's a shame because water is essential. Uh, it's one of those things, that's, it's right up there with air that you breathe, you have to have water. And so we're gonna bring attention to that and we're gonna do some fun things with water. Since we've got basically an unlimited source, we're gonna let the kids play with uh, water hoses and, and uh, uh, squirt guns and- Water balloons. Water balloons. We're gonna have just all kinds of water. It's a water day on March 22nd. Our theme is going to be hope for clean water. So uh, stay tuned and follow us and hope with us that 2.2 billion people can have clean water in this world somehow, some way. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all this water gushing out of here. It comes right from the ground underneath here at Hope Village. And because there's a mountain in our distance and a river just over behind the property, they tell us we have unlimited water under this property. But look at the force of this water coming out of this, this, this pipe. And very soon we're gonna have sprinkler systems set up throughout the property. And it's gonna keep the lawn green for the children so that they can run and play like kids are supposed to be able to do because most of these children that we're gonna be getting that live here at Hope Village are running on concrete. They don't get to see grass. And so this water is gonna give them a beautiful home to live in while we're trying to get them a permanent home to live as a family. 